Embraer first stuck its toe in the corporate jet world in 2002 with the Legacy 600, a denuded ERJ-135 regional jet refitted with an executive interior. The exercise shouldn't have been much of a stretch, but there was a learning curve and the airframer got a few things wrong out of the gate. There were interior fit and finish and cabin noise issues, as well as airworthiness directives that covered everything from the passenger seat's floor tracking to leaking fuel. As Embraer built more airplanes, it implemented fixes and by the time the Legacy 650 rolled around in 2010, the company had corrected most of the problems. Although the aircraft's early flaws helped to limit its success, Embraer's expertise in the airliner world helped its business jet series achieve dispatch reliability above 99%. While one would have thought that Embraer would have taken the lessons learned from the 600 and applied them to its first clean sheet purpose designed business aircraft, the Phenom 100 light jet, the new model was not without its own set of problems. When deliveries of the then $3.18 million Phenom 100 began in 2008, they faced a series of quality and fit and finish issues. Let's start with the cabin. The first iteration of the passenger seat, with its signature skew headset, was widely and justifiably derided on all counts for styling, comfort, function, and reliability. The complaints were significant. As former Embraer Executive Jets President Marco Tullio Pellegrini noted in 2016, quote, the seat is the customer touchpoint. If he feels comfortable, he is pleased. If not, he complains a lot. There were other cabin annoyances as well, such as the unpleasant noise level of the two-zone environmental control system fans and trim pieces that fell off periodically. One husband and wife pilot couple who were early Phenom 100 customers praised its flying characteristics, but when asked about the cabin said, we never sit back there anyway. Its problems notwithstanding, the cabin did have a lot going for it. Embraer had taken the quantum interior design leap, hiring BMW Design Works USA to create a light and airy space that felt considerably bigger than it was. The cabin design incorporated upscale automotive style accents and featured conveniences typically found in larger aircraft. It included a genuine air stair door, LED lighting, single-piece sidewalls and headliners, and retractable cup holders that were wide enough to fit personal electronic devices and cell phones. Storage nooks, AC power outlets, headset jack points, lighting and temperature controls, MP3 plugs, and speakers were all integrated into the side ledge. Audio on demand and satellite radio were available. In the forward cabin, you could install a modestly sized refreshment center that was adequate for small beverage containers, a limited amount of glassware, ice, and snacks. But the cabin issues paled next to the early systems problems, which included air conditioner compressors, generators, and trim motors that died permanently, cockpit windows that tended to fog up during descents, an erroneous flap fault indicator, and a break-by-wire system that required some redesign, having contributed to a handful of runway overrun incidents and blown tires. Embraer addressed these faults and continued to improve the Phenom 100 series. The company developed a new passenger seat with supplier Decrane Aerospace, featuring improved lumbar support and cushioning, a retractable armrest, and a partially folding seat next to the cabin entry door. Later model Phenom 100s come with Embraer's in-house manufactured seats. Embraer also equipped the Phenom with a new flap control unit. It quieted the cabin fans. It also solved problems with the brake-by-wire system and errand brake warning screw altering system messages with a software fix by redesigning the brake control unit and by altering the pedal position and feet to bring it in line with the feedback pilots get with conventional mechanical hydraulic brakes. Beginning in 2013 with the 100E model, Embraer began equipping the aircraft with multi-function wing spoilers that enable slower descents, enhance maneuverability, and improve braking on the ground. Despite its many teetering problems, the Phenom 100 had sold relatively well owing to its larger cabin which can seat six passengers and faster 390 knot cruise speed, a good 50 knots faster than the Cessna Citation Mustang. The latest version, the 100 EV, cruises at 405 knots, climbs faster, and has better height-hot runway performance. You can also option features on the Phantom that you cannot get on most other aircraft in its class, like the lavatory with a solid privacy door. The engines and avionics make for attractive economics and operational simplicity. Power comes from Pratt & Whitney PW600 series engines rated at 1,695 pounds of thrust each. They incorporate engineering and manufacturing advances that make them cheaper to build and easier to fix than engines on older light jets such as Cessna's CJ series. For example, mechanics can perform a midlife inspection of a PW600 without removing it from the wing, which means they can do the job in one 8-hour shift rather than over several days. The 100's Prodigy glass panel avionics system is built around the Garmin's G1000 suite, which is now found on everything from piston engines to mid-sized jets. 
It features three interchangeable 12-inch flat panel displays, primary displays for each pilot position, and a center multi-function display. The system integrates all primary flight, navigation, communication, terrain, weather, engine instrumentation, and crew alerting data. You can buy used Phenom 100s for $2 million or less, make minimal upgrades, and have a solid performer that is only 10 years old or less. Improvements to consider include premium slide, swivel, and reclined single executive seats, similar to those aboard the larger Phenom 300, the GoGoBiz Wi-Fi airborne connectivity system, and updating the Garmin-based Prodigy glass panel flight deck to the G1000 NXI configuration with new displays, faster processors, and a host of new safety and convenience features that significantly reduce pilot workload. This is particularly important if you plan on operating single pilots. Today, an updated used Phantom 100 is tough to beat in terms of acquisition and operating costs, speed, and finally, comfort. The aircraft is widely used in the air charter business and posts excellent dispatch and high utilization rates, both helped along by superior support and Embraer's history as a manufacturer of commercial airliners. While it may have had a rocky start, the aircraft and Embraer ultimately found redemption. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and also share it with your friends. Consider subscribing to our channel for more lifestyle content and make sure to turn on the notifications for future updates about your favorite super rich personalities.